I have been absolutely loving twist outs lately. Let me show you guys how to get these bomb twist out results. All right, so we're going to jump right in. So I've already done most of my hair. I saved the top to record. And I'm gonna start by sectioning off a row in the top and dividing that in the number of twists that I want in that particular row. So it doesn't have to be perfectly parted or anything. I don't really use a comb to section my rows, just my fingers. And the reason I section off the sections beforehand is I wanna make sure I know how many twists I want to do in that row so that they are relatively even in size. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the piece of hair I'm working with is wet with water. So if your hair is dry when you first apply product, it's not gonna go on well. So you want your hair to be wet with water and then I'm taking a little bit of my Aunt Jackie's product and I'm going to really, really work that in. Like really work it in. If you just put it on there and go through it one time with your fingers, that's not good enough. But you wanna work it in as you see I'm doing now until you feel that your hair is completely coated. And once I'm done working in my first product, I'm going to comb through my hair sometimes because you do want your hair to be combed through. So I'm going to use my comb to comb through it. And then I'm going to take my second product, which is the Mousse Def Foam, and I'm going to add that on top of it. And again, I'm going to work, work, work that in because we want our hair nice and smooth. And you'll see, this is how you want your hair to look nice and separate it you want the curls to already be defining on their own in its natural state so this is how you get your flat roots you want to do a braid at the root first because you know two strand twists do not adhere to your scalp like braids do so you want to braid maybe like two times we're not doing a braid and curl but we just want to braid our roots so that our roots are nice and flat and then you're going to start your two strand twist all the way down to the bottom Once we get about two inches down, depending on how much curl you want at the end, I'm just gonna twirl that around my finger like that. And I'll show you how I tweak some of my curls that don't define as much as the ones in the back because my hair is looser in the front. I'll show you how I deal with those little ones at the end. And I'm just going to repeat this whole step all over my head until I finish. Let me share a tip about braiding at your scalp for the beginning of your twist. I like to start with two pieces that are smaller than my third piece of hair because once I start to combine it into my two strand twist, I combine the two smaller twists, I mean the two smaller strands so that they're the same size as my third larger strand. So then I have two even sized pieces going all the way down my twist. Another little tip I like to share about how I do my hair, I like to twist some of my twists going towards the front of my face and doing some going towards the back of my head. So I twist in two different directions to give me more volume and more of an effortless look. You'll see this as it expands as the days go on. When you first take it down, it's not really noticeable because everything is so uniform and so perfect and so fresh. But as the week goes on and your hair gets bigger, it really impacts the way that your hair will fall. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly.
Another tip, notice how my hands are all foamy and stuff with product once I finish one twist. We don't want that when we start with our next section. So I'm resting off my hands to start with clean hands because we want our first product to be our gel, not the leftover foam. And here I am fixing those curls, well not fixing them, but adding a perm rod to the end of the ones that I want a little bit more definition for because the front is looser than the back. I could leave it how it is, which I have done, but I just prefer the front to be really defined since those are my bang pieces. And this is what my hair looks like when I'm done. I have four perm rods in the front. And you see how nice and juicy my hair is looking. It already has all that shine and movement and it's still wet. We haven't dried yet. So I'm going to sit under the dryer until my hair is about 75, more so like 85% dry. And then I just let it continue to air dry overnight. All right, so this is actually the day after the next day because I just left it in for an extra day. So my hair is completely dry and you see I still have all that movement because our roots are what? Our roots are flat, our hair is moisturized, and so now I'm just going to start taking my hair down. And I bet you're thinking that I'm going to apply some type of oil to my fingers. Nope, you're wrong. I'm just going to start separating my hair because we don't need it. The oil, we do not need any oil. I know I used to use a serum, but I don't anymore because I just don't need it. And my hair is moisturized, so yep, just going to start separating and they come, across, they come apart pretty quickly. As you're separating, you can feel where your hair naturally starts to separate. I'm actually only going through and separating my two strand twist as well as the braid one time so I'm not doing any additional separating right now just taking down the twist You and I wasted Too much time I don't know if I can face it Didn't know you were gonna go and lace it Finish the shot I don't know if I can make it No It's all good I don't really see the issue Feeling herself I don't text you when I miss you Baby No I didn't mean to diss you No I'm not saying I don't think that I'm an issue Thinking about the brighter days Moving on and I'm riding on another wave Yeah Don't be looking at me differently and this is how my hair looks once I finish separating my twist. Like I mentioned, I only separated the twist. I didn't go in and do any additional separation today because it is nighttime and I wasn't going anywhere. So I figured just taking it down is good enough. I am going to go in and separate some more the next day or the day after because I didn't leave the house until I think <laughs> two days later. But look how my hair is looking. Like this is what I'm talking about. It is shiny, it is bouncy, my roots are flat. I mean, it's the softest of softness ever. Like y'all, get you some twist out results like these. Like, come on now, it looks amazing. And I'm just showing y'all how my hair looks all around. Um, to sleep in, I do not pineapple my hair because I find that Pineappling it just throws it off. I just go to sleep with my hair out and free and it lasts me I do pineapple it and put a bonnet on when I shower, but other than that it is free and hanging free and hanging And this is my hair two days later after I went in and separated it and fluffed it out some more So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye